Hello, my name is Noah Elkrief, and in this video, I'm going to talk about what causes stress. So the reason I want to talk about what causes stress is because most people have misinformation about what causes stress. And when we don't truly understand what's causing our stress, it becomes very difficult to address the stress. We end up spending a lot of time and energy trying to change things that aren't really causing our stress. So the two things that I often hear that are causing stress are specific circumstances and situations, and then uncertainty. We tend to think that uncertainty and stressful situations cause stress. So in this video, I'm going to help to show you so that you can discover for yourself that thoughts create stress and nothing else, not uncertainty and not stress, and not stressful situations as if there was such a thing. And on top of that, I'm going to show you the exact thoughts which create this stress. And nothing is meant to be believed, nothing is to trust me. All of this will be discovered for yourself. So first, let's look at a so-called stressful situation. So let's say you're at work and you think your work is causing you to feel stressed. It seems so obvious. When you're at work, you feel stressed. When you're not, you don't. Let's just look. So the first question to ask yourself to help you discover that the situation itself doesn't cause your stress is to see, could somebody else be happy in this situation? Is somebody else that I know happy in this situation? It's almost always easy to see that yes, there are some people who are happy in this situation. Yes, it is possible for people to be happy in this situation. So if other people are happy in this situation, if other people are not stressed in this situation, then the situation itself can't be creating the stress. If the situation itself created the stress, then everybody in the situation would have to experience stress. But if that's not the case, then the situation can't be creating the stress. Another way to see that the situation doesn't create your stress is to just look. Am I stressed in every moment that I'm in this situation? Right? So if we think our work is creating the stress, am I stressed at every moment at work? No, probably not. In some moments you enjoy it, some moments you don't. Right? If you're uh, just talking with friends, or if you're talking to a client but the client is enjoying what you're saying, or if you just don't care in that moment, or whatever the case may be, if you can see that in some moments you experience stress and some you don't, then the situation itself can't be creating your stress. If it was, then you would be stressed in every moment. Right? Or you can look and say, am I, be able to, am, I, am I able to enjoy myself and have fun and not be stressed when I'm having fun, when I'm doing something I enjoy? Right? So maybe when you're playing sports, when you're watching a movie, when you're eating your favorite food, if all it takes to stop feeling stressed is to simply distract yourself from thoughts, to entertain yourself, then it's clear that the thoughts must be creating your stress and not any particular situation. Can you see that? If all it takes to lose your stress is to think about something else, to put your attention on something you enjoy, then clearly it has to be your thoughts that's creating your stress. And finally, another way to see what's creating your stress is to look, how do I feel when I tell myself these stories? So the stories are generally, um, it would be bad if this happened. So if it's a job interview, it would be bad if I don't get the job I want. Or if it's at work, it would be bad if I don't get the client. It would be bad if my boss doesn't like me, doesn't like my work. It would be bad if I can't get this project done in time. It would be bad if I can't get home in time. All that. So how does it feel when you tell yourself this story? How does it feel when you think about it? Stressful. Just look right now. What happens when you think about the stressful, situ stressful situation? You feel tense, right? Look. So if as soon as you think about it, you feel the stress, 
think clearly it's the thinking that's creating the stress and not the situation itself. Right? There's no situation here, you're just watching a video. So if you can think about the situation, just thinking, and you feel stressed, then the only thing happening right now is your thinking. So it must be the thoughts that are creating the stress. So once we see that it's thoughts creating our stress and not a situation, then the opportunity is there to see what specific thoughts are creating the stress. So we tend to think that uncertainty, thoughts of uncertainty, I don't know what will happen, create stress. But let's dispel that myth for a second here. If somebody tomorrow said, um, I will give you, somebody said to you, I'll either give you $100 tomorrow or nothing, right? You might be stressed about whether you get the $100 or not, right? And it seems the uncertainty creates it. But if they said to you, I'll give you $100 tomorrow, but it might be all 20s, it might be all singles, it might be all fives, are you going to feel stressed about it? No, there's uncertainty there, but you wouldn't feel stressed. So why not? The reason why is because there's no bad outcome there. There's no outcome we think would be bad. There's many different possible outcomes, but since all of them are judged to be equal by our minds, there's nothing to be stressed about. Same thing if you imagine going into a job interview and there's two possible jobs you can get, right? They say you've already got the job, we just don't know if you're going to go into this division or that division. This is the interview to help us pick. If you really like one division and you really don't like the other, are you going to be stressed about the job interview? Of course, because one outcome is labeled bad, one is not. Now, if they say this is to decide which division you're going to go into this interview, you're definitely going to go to one, but we don't know which one. There's uncertainty there. But if you like both divisions equally and you don't know which one would be better for you, are you going to feel stressed about it? No, because both options are equal. There's indecision there, there's uncertainty. But since both options are viewed to be equal, none worse, there's no stress. So uncertainty itself does not create stress. The only thing that creates stress, only thing, is the idea that a bad outcome is possible. So there's two ways that this shows up generally. One is we decide what outcome would be best. Right? So in a job interview example, we think it would be best for me to get the job. So therefore, every other outcome is considered to be worse. Right? The other time when we experience stress is when we decide that outcome would be bad. It would be bad if I don't get the job offer. It would be bad if I don't get this done in time. It would be bad if they break up with me. It would be bad if I get hurt. All of those thoughts create stress. Right? Anytime we think a bad outcome is possible, that's what creates our stress. Nothing else. So if you want to figure out how to stop having those thoughts, you can watch my other videos. So thank you for watching and I hope that helps you to understand what causes stress.